holy crap, y'all. There have been so many changes to the budget this month. I don't even know where to start. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, this is my husband, Mauricio. And this is my daughter, Melina, who's six. We are currently working our way out of 250,000 plus worth of debt. And we are working the Dave Ramsey baby steps. So if you are interested in following our progress, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon and you will be alerted every single time we upload. So today we are talking about the changes to our November, is it November? I I think it's November. Our November budget, and we have made a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. And before I get into it, let me tell you a little bit of story about why we love Dave Ramsey and the emergency fund and all the things that Dave has done financially for us. So this morning, I was supposed to be at work at 4.45. Normally, in order to be at work at 4.45, I would have been up at three o'clock and got showered, changed, ready to go. So my alarm goes off at four because I normally get up at four every morning. Apparently I had forgotten to, to set it the night before and I go screaming out of bed because I'm supposed to leave for work in 15 minutes and I have just been woken from a dead sleep. So I somehow managed to get out the door in 20 minutes. And FYI, if you want to know, this is what I look like when I have 20 minutes to get ready to go. My makeup is not done. Well, I do have a little bit of makeup on, but nothing hardly. My hair, oh my goodness. So I head off to work and about six or seven minutes into my drive, boom, I hit a pothole in a magnanimous way. Is that a bird? It's a big way. I don't know. So I smashed the pothole, blew a tire, potentially broke my axle, and potentially hurt the um, suspension. So I called Mauricio in a panic because we were doing something special at work this morning and I couldn't be late. That's why I was going in so early. It was extremely important that I be there on time. And I called him in a panic and he came out and rescued me. You know, he was really excited to have to come and rescue me at by then it was 4.40 in the morning and he did and that was all fine and dandy and so it ended up being $792 so you won't see that in today's budget but the bonus is we had uh, slated to get new tires next month already so I am just taking that money out of the December budget because as you all know, we are one month ahead our entire salary. So what we earn in November goes to pay December's bills. So I am just taking that $792 from December's budget and going to pay, put it towards November's budget and the new tire. So we aren't even having to touch our emergency fund. And if this had been pre-Dave, it would not have been that awesome. There would have been panic. So let me jump right on in. This month, I'm going to try something different. Usually our mid-month budget update is kind of chatty. And well, I'm always chatty because I could literally talk to a wall. This month, I want to do a before and after. So you have a visual of the changes that we have made in the budget. So let's jump right in. So as you all know, I budget and I film the budget prior to having our budget meetings. So a lot of these will reflect what we actually do in our budget meeting and what we discuss and the changes we make in the budget meeting. These are not all just changes that have happened in the first two weeks of the month. Our utilities category has stayed exactly the same. The next category is transportation. We started with $30 for gas and nothing else. In the mid month, we had put in an oil change and a tire rotation. We are pending an oil change from like forever ago that we haven't gotten around to doing because we haven't been driving the car, but we really do need to do an oil change. And obviously we no longer need a tire rotation as of today. So I'm not sure how that's gonna affect the budget. And then we also realized at the last minute that our car needed an inspection for um, its annual inspection. So we went ahead and did that and that was $16 for the inspection. The next category is insurance and tax. There have been no changes. The next category is Melina. And we ended up taking out her school bucks money, which was $40. 
because we didn't need it. She already had $52 still in her account from leftover from last month. So we went ahead and decided to go ahead and take that out for this month. We decided to up the miscellaneous school expenses to $25 because it seems like each thing is $10 and I'd rather have a little bit extra in there just in case. But thus far, halfway through the month, we haven't used it. And then we did find out that the school book fair was this month. So we added in $30 so she would be able to buy some books at the book fair. And no changes have occurred in the cash category. So that has stayed exactly the same. And no changes have occurred in the recurring annual fees category. And in the YouTube category, I have had one change. I did a $5 super chat to Brian G. Johnson. I am part of his... Facebook group for YouTubers and I absolutely love the advice he gives and I was I lost a bet <laughs> so I owed somebody five dollars but don't worry it didn't come out of my budget I actually deposited my blow money into the bank account and so that is just all that happened with that because you have to super chat through PayPal so so in our medical category, I had 7778 slated for a cardiology bill, 35 for a copay, 255.59 for a neurology bill, and 35 for a neurology copay. And I will tell you, this actually worked out in my favor. The cardiology bill ended up being 3909. I am not at all sure why I got a bill in the mail for 7778. I checked online and I legitimately only owe 39.09. So apparently it pays not to pay your bills immediately and put them off until the next month because sometimes they change apparently. And in work expenses, Mauricio had $22 for parking, but I don't think we will be using that because he went in to work with me every day so far. So hopefully by the end of the month, we won't use that. And our sinking funds stayed the same as always. And thankfully, I am not going to have to reimburse our emergency fund because I was concerned about that. But we just moved some money over. So life is working out fantastically. So I had originally budgeted $126.65 for Amazon. And so far, I have spent $118.91. I spent $64.99 for office, uh, something I needed for the office, and then another $46.94 for something I needed for the office. And fingers crossed, I'll hopefully get reimbursed for those. And then I spent $6.98 for a sweater for Melina. She needed a new like heavy sweater for the cold, and this one was super cute. Love it. And it's $7. And so in the cushion category, we budgeted $100 and we have spent 42 of those $100. And that was because I have two nephews and they did a fun run at school and we sponsored them each for $20. Then it was a dollar processing fee for each person that we sponsored. So that was $42 that I had not planned on. But, you know, they're my nephews. They're my only nephews. Of course, I'm going to support them. If, if they call me with their cute little voices begging me to sponsor them, uh, yeah, I'm a total sucker. I'll do it. Feel free to lecture. I don't feel bad about it because I'm going to do it. I'm a family man, a woman. So here is the good news. I don't know if you remember in my budget plan video, I said I, I was really disappointed that we couldn't get it over $7,000. Guess what? We got it to $7,073.26 so far. So, and how did we do that? A couple of expenses that I've talked about previously that came out that we did not plan on. We went ahead and put that extra money like the Amazon. We went ahead and put that to debt. Yep. That ended up being almost $100, just, you know, 15 here, 15 there. So we are over $7,000 for the month. So maybe by the end of the month, we can get it over $7,100. But not if I keep blowing tires. Yeah, I'm really irritated about that. So as it stands right now with all of those numbers, we are actually $1.73 over budget. 
So I'm gonna, because I've been going ahead and making the changes as the month goes along. So we need to come up with 173 or I'm just gonna transfer instead of 792, I transfer 795 from, from next month for the tires. Then that may be what I do, I don't know. So this is how the rest of my day went after I blew a horrible tire and I ended up showing five minutes late to work, which is pretty dang impressive considering I had a flat tire. Got to work, had a flat tire, got to work five minutes late. The morning was okay, I did my job. Lunchtime rolled around, I'm making my sandwich because sometimes when I meal prep, I like to take sandwiches, but I don't like to make them ahead of time because then they get mushy because I make all my lunches on Sundays. So what I do is I put all the innards for the sandwich into one of my Pyrex dishes and then I put the bread in a Ziploc baggie and I take all of that and I take one of my silicone cups and I put the mayonnaise and whatever spreadable whatever I'm gonna put on there. So that's what I did, I'm making my sandwich and I'm eating my sandwich at my desk, working hard. And I did something and I turned and smacked my sandwich and it flew on the floor. So I was not gonna spend money. I did not eat. So. That was fine, not not such a big deal. But then I came home. So on the way home from picking up my car um, after getting the tires fixed, I, um, I decided to go back the way I normally go to work because I wanted to get a video of the road because I've decided I'm gonna write whoever manages the road systems here because this should have been fixed. It's a whole, somebody had dug up the road to lay a pipe or something and it didn't get fixed and didn't get fixed, didn't get fixed. And they had filled it with gravel, but when it rained, all the gravel washed away because it's at a dip where a lot of water runs through. So it did not get fixed. And so I'm going to file a complaint with the state or the county or whoever manages the roads. So I got to do a little research, but I'm going to, I'm going to complain and I'm going to send them screenshots and a video and whatever else I have to. Because in the time that Mauricio was standing with a car, five other people came and got flat tires on that exact same one. I felt a little vindicated when I found that out. Five in two hours. That's intense. So anyway, I decided to go back that way. And then I got home and I drove in the driveway and my dad happened to be out in the driveway and I was talking to him and I went in to plug in the car and I shut the door and I walked around to the passenger side. I had locked the keys in the car. Yeah. But no worries because I just go inside and get the spare set of keys and unlock it and we're good to go the spare set of keys were in my gym bag. Oops. Yeah. So this is how my day is going. So I have decided I am just going to sit here and stare at the wall and I'm not going to do anything for the rest of the day because if I don't move, nothing bad can happen. So, oh my Lord, what do you think will happen by the time I go to bed tonight? If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on the big laugh and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See y'all. I know, I'm weird. But we're done.